Sir, thank you for the time. So you are a part of the Northeast Democratic Alliance. Yes. Uh, the Prime Minister, I hear, is going to come to Mizoram because the elections are going to happen. He's going to address a rally. Are you likely to share stage with him? No, I will not uh, share stage with him because here they have their BJP. And the people of Mizoram, they're all Christians. When the Manipur people, Meite people, burn hundreds of charges there, and they're sent person against that kind of idea, to have a sympathy with the BJP at this time, it will be a big minus point for my party. Mm -hmm. Therefore, it will be better, even if the prime minister, if he comes along, he shared it, a platform by himself, and I got a platform by myself. That would be better for both of us. Your party is a party which is in alliance mm. with the BJP, at least in the NEDA, yeah. at the central level as well. Mm. Well, in the central, we have the same group. Because, as you know, previously there was the NDA and then UPA, now India. So, since we are a same person against the Congress all along, during these 30, 40 years, so we cannot be in the group of the UPA. Speaking specifically on the question of refugees, mm. whether it's with Myanmaris, whether it's with Manipuris, do you think that stand is going to also benefit you electorally? Well, it is a big benefit and it is a big plus point for my present election. We are just following what the government of India has done. In 1971, I was in Bangladesh, rather East Pakistan. Mm. So how many millions of refugees from the uh, Muslim countries of East Pakistan you have entertained, armed them, and gave them, helped them in making independence? Mm. We are just following your footsteps. Our brothers and sisters come from Myanmar. Mm. And we, we don't uh, arm them. We, we simply give them food and shelter. We are just following the humanitarian side. So if, uh, if, if something like this were to happen again, maybe something so from Bangladesh or maybe something else from Myanmar, would you be open to accepting more refugees in your next term if that were to happen? Well, there is a humanitarian, uh, humanitarian aspect of showing sympathy. Whoever comes from this land and that land, and we cannot simply push them out because Bangladesh refuses. They are all the Mizos. Manipur, we are of the same people, speaking more or less one language. So they are brothers and sisters, either from Manipur, either from Bangladesh, either from Myanmar. Bangladesh people, they have a lot of influence here because they're all Mizos. Mm. And the Myanmar, they are all Mizos, more or less. They have a lot of influence here from Manipur, they have a lot of influence here because they are all Mizos. So that makes a big, big plus point in the coming election for me. Sir, with regards to the Manipuri IDPs, uh, is there, are you aware of any time frame in which you foresee that they will go back? Do you think the resolution to that conflict is anywhere around the corner? Well, it's up to the government of India because they are eagerly waiting for, for they're eagerly waiting to go back to their native place because they have simply left their house, their land and everything. So they're eagerly waiting for the time when they may be able to go back. If the government of India and the Home Ministry is really trying to solve the problem in Manipur, it's very easy to solve. Now there is a clear cut division now. They don't mix together each other. Mm. And so I think that with the help of the Home Ministry and the government of India, the problem can be solved so that the people can go back easily. But you, uh, would you put a time frame? Has your government put a time frame to that? Do uh, you estimate any time frame? No, no, not possible. Mm. As far as Manipur is concerned, it is within the Union of India. And it is the responsibility of the government, of central government. Mm. And with the initiative of that, it can be solved. As you know, during the British period, we are all under one administration. But the British divided us into East Pakistan, and then to India, and then to Burma. It's only because of this that we are divided. Mm -hmm. And now it is my greatest hope that there should be peace in Myanmar. Mm -hmm. For who is together with Mr. Doval, NSA, we have went to uh, Nipido, 
and then we try to make peace. But there, after that, when we are at the point of making uh, a very good uh, step towards peace in Myanmar, there was an election. Aung San Suu Kyi came to power. She kept silent for five years, and that's why there was no peace. Otherwise, if that peace initiative taken by Mr. Doval and myself, if it goes together, perhaps this time there may be peace in Myanmar. But do you foresee that process can be revived? Because now Mr. Certainly, Suu Kyi is certainly. Not all the underground groups in Myanmar are really eager to uh, implement that. And then the military government in Myanmar is really uh, eager to implement the peace initiative. And Aung San Suu Kyi's underground government is really uh, eager to implement that. I believe that the time will soon come when there may be peace in Myanmar.